brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I welcome all of you for this 23rd Ordinary Sunday. There was a small girl who was looking at the balloon seller. After some time, slowly she came to that man and asked, Will this balloon will go up? Then the balloon seller said, Yes, it will go. After some time, again, the small girl asked to that man who was selling the balloons, Will all this color of balloons will it go up? Then the balloon seller said, Yes, of course, it will go if you untie these threads. Then after thinking some time, a small girl asked once again to that balloon seller, Will black color balloon will it go up? Then the balloon seller identified and understood since the, the girl was black in color, she asked these questions. Then the balloon seller said to that girl, See, this type of balloons go up, it is not because of the color of the balloon. It is because of the gas which is inside of the balloon, it is going up. Most of the time, in our life also, we see things with the external appearance and we like it and we try to attain those things. In the life of Jesus also, most of the people, they saw the external miracles of Jesus and they tried to follow Jesus and they, they tried to become a disciple of Jesus. And in the gospel reading today, there were some people who were trying to follow Jesus by seeing the external miracles of Jesus. But Jesus is trying to say to become my disciple or to partake in my discipleship by looking at my external miracles and following is not alone enough. Whereas you should have some internal qualities to become my disciples. And he is trying to explain those qualities in today's gospel reading. Disciple. It comes from the Greek word madatas, which means it's student. Normally a student he lives with the guru, teacher, and he listens everything and he tries to follow whatever the master teacher says to that disciple. And Jesus is telling it is not alone enough but to do or to go in all this process you need to have certain qualities he says. Brothers and sisters, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is a book written by Stephen Covey. In his book, he says about the seven qualities of highly effective people. As the seventh quality he says, the sharpen the swap. In order to explain this quality, he speaks about four types of sharpness. Emotional sharpness, spiritual sharpness, mental sharpness, and physical sharpness. Today, Jesus, based on these four types of sharpness, he expresses the essential qualities to become his disciple. First of all, emotional sharpness. This is inviting us to live all our relations, to live all our emotions on our relations and come to God and to show only our emotions on God. In the Gospel reading, chapter 14, verse 26 of Luke Gospel, Jesus is telling, do not give priority to your father, mother, children, your wife, and your brothers and sisters. Even do not give priority to yourself. Give priority to God. Then only you can become my disciple. Which means he is giving or asking us 
to show all our emotions first to God, next to your relations. Most of the time in our life, what we do is we give importance or priority to our own brothers and sisters, to our own family members, to our friends, to our lovers. What happens most of the time? Since my friends are calling to go for a movie in a theater, I don't go to church. Since my relatives are coming, today I don't go to church. I avoid participating in the Holy Eucharist. Or since my friends are coming to my home, I don't go to partake in the church activity. Or I avoid praying rosary in the family. Where do we give importance? Do we give important? Do we show our emotions to God? Let us reflect. Secondly, spiritual emotions. In verse 27, chapter 14 of Luke Gospel, Jesus invites to carry our cross and to follow him. It is essential quality, he says, to carry our crosses of life to become his disciples which means Jesus is inviting us to take up our daily sufferings our daily temptations Jesus in his life he accepted suffering he accepted cross this therefore he was give to he was able to redeem the entire world our first Christians they accepted sufferings it is therefore the church has grown in our life also, we are called to accept the sufferings of our everyday life. That is spiritual sharpness. And today, Jesus is inviting for that. Are we ready to take up the crosses of life? Thirdly, it is about our mental sharpness. In the Gospel reading, especially verses 28 to 32 of 14th chapter of Luke's Gospel, Jesus speaks about two types of parables. A man who wanted to build a church is thinking and planning. A king who wanted to go for a war is thinking and planning. See, thinking and planning are the essential qualities for the discipleship of Christ. Which means, by baptism, we all of us are partaking in the discipleship of Christ. Are we planning out for my spiritual activities that every Sunday at 6 a.m. or 8 a.m. in the morning, I will go for the Holy Eucharist. Or every day, evening 6 o'clock, I will sit and pray. Or every day, I will read the word of God. Am I planning, am I thinking about my spiritual life? Am I giving sufficient time to think about God in my life? See, we think about so many things in our life. Am I giving important? Am I able to think about God in my life? Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, are we ready to think about God in my life? This is mental sharpness. And finally, Jesus talks about physical sharpness. In the last verse of today's Gospel reading, verse 33 of 14th chapter of the Luke's Gospel, talks, just leave your things and try to follow Jesus. Do not give important the things that beautify your physical body. Above all, you give important for God. In today's world, we wanted to buy so much of clothes, cosmetic things, jewels, which beautify our physical body, which beautify us. But above all, we need to give importance to God. Instead of spending so much of money, instead of spending so much of time on these things, Spend time for God. Give importance to God. And that's what Jesus says of physical sharpness. So my brothers and sisters,
today let us reflect our in respect ourselves and see am i able to keep important for god in my life am i ready to become a disciple of jesus am i ready to partake in the discipleship of jesus christ let us cultivate this sharpness mental sharpness emotional sharpness spiritual sharpness and the physical sharpness may god bless you always